Hey guys, so today I am on my way over to my mom's house and we are going to paint her pleather couch. Hi! Hi! So, this is my mom's couch. This is um, the bonded leather and it's actually in super good shape, but it is 25 years old. So, we have some areas that we want to freshen up. Same age as Mackenzie's. Yeah. Seven. So today what we're going to do is we are going to chalk paint it. So I will give you an update a bit later. Will you say something? Do we want to pull it out and do the back first? Yeah, I think so. Okay guys, I'll be back. So I forgot to record how I painted this. I'm going to post the recipe. But basically, when you're trying to paint um, any kind of leather, pleather, you simply make your paint. I'll explain to you how to do that. Okay, so to make your chalk paint, you're gonna buzz on over to Home Depot. And what I do is I buy these little sample paint jars. You're going to want to know what color you want for your project. In this case, I used a Benjamin Moore color called Chantilly Lace and Home Depot matched that for me. You will want to get a flat sheen for this project. Next up to create your chalk paint, you're gonna need something called calcium carbonate. I get it from Amazon and the brand that I use is this one right here. It's $7.43. For your chalk paint, you're gonna add four tablespoons of calcium carbonate to an eight ounce container of sample paint. And I'm gonna give you a tip. You want to put on thin, 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 thin coats. That is the biggest piece of advice that I can give to you. What you doing? <laughs> you cut my hair. It's so cute. <laughs> so this is pleather, but all in all, this pleather is in really good shape. So That's the only thing that we're going to worry about is painting it white. Okay, guys. So this is day three. This is the my mom's talking to me. This is the pleather couch of my mom's and this couch is 25 years old so if you remember the original picture the, um it was really the lighting is bad in here but you can see it looks completely new and i painted that this has actually got the wax on it so i don't think you can see but it's actually on my hand but Theoretically, what I should have to do is buff this off. But what we found yesterday was that this couch set literally sucked that wax in to the point that we did not need to buff it at all. So the wax that I'm using, I'm using this brush. These brushes are only $9.97 from Home Depot. And this is the wax I used. You can get this from Home Depot. And you do not need to be careful. You just literally go over, go over your piece and let it sit for about an hour. And in this case, that wax is going to completely absorb into the fabric. Now, this is the one piece that we have not um, waxed yet. So, if you listen, it still feels pretty, still sounds pretty soft. But when you come over to a wax piece, it's just so much softer and so much like leather. So, this was just painted, I think we gave this one about three coats yesterday. Not yesterday, but we gave it three coats. Some of the pieces we had to give a little bit more. Um, in the seat area because there was more wear, but literally changed this piece into a brand new set. So what I'm doing right now, like I said before, 
is we are just letting this wax soak in. So I will give you, I will give pretty impressive. 